<sighs> it's about that time for a new Daisy adventure to start. So welcome to the channel. Today I got that weird feeling like some crazy stuff's gonna happen. The rearmed server's just wiped and I'm actually gonna be playing on US main which has no group limit so I already know it's about to get hectic. With this being said, let's get right into it. It was a new day and an exciting adventure had just begun. Today I was gonna be playing with my friends Dozing Chopper and Baba and little did we know the next week would lead us on one of the craziest journeys we had ever been on, full of massive fights and raids and even more. So make sure you stick around because you're not going to want to miss what happens. To begin I had loaded in on the northeastern part of the map and I wanted to get some beginner gear fast and the closest place to do this was the northeast airfield so that was going to be my first destination. While we're on the topic of destinations let me take you to the continent of Taya which is where the sponsor of today's video Watcher of Realms takes place. Watcher of Realms is a next-gen fantasy RPG game that immerses you into a magical world of PvP battles, dungeons, and so much more with its high-quality audio-visual effects. It all gets better with how good the characters' designs are. The heroes are really vivid and lifelike thanks to motion capture technologies. In the game, you can experience diverse RPG elements such as battling through dungeons with over 100 unique heroes that can be leveled up and improved. Don't forget to take advantage of the auto-enhance and auto-fight system which will greatly strengthen your gaming experience. Once you're strong enough, you can team up with your guild partners to take on the epic dragon and rush to the top of the guild rankings. If you're seeking something more exhilarating, then the tide will give you an absolutely crazy experience. Deploy your heroes, release their skills at the right time to defeat countless monsters and defend your position. Strategy is important in this game since the continent of Taya offers vast terrains including deserts and mountains which each present unique battles and challenges to overcome. This grand world is also full of rich storylines delving into the lore of epic heroes and factions, with each having their own unique backstories to discover. Watcher of Realms is holding an exciting launch event featuring two top influencers competing in a team competition. You can choose which team to support and participate for a chance to win incredible rewards such as iPhones and Switches. So what are you waiting for? Hop into Watcher of Realms today by clicking the link in the description below or scanning the QR code on screen to be part of all of the excitement. Thanks to Watcher of Realms for sponsoring the video, and now let's get back into the story. Oh, shots. I saw a fresh spawn, or like a fresh looking guy running to my left somewhere. But uh, I don't know where he went. He probably went just to the other side of the airfield. What is this? This is like a big, <laughs> it's like an airport building from Warzone. Like, this is kind of cool. Let's check inside here. There could be stuff in there. I've never been in here. Oh, nice. We've got a gun now. So if somebody is in here, we have a chance. Oh, press vest. Let's we'll take that. Oh, is the air drop on you, bro? What? Yeah. Is it in the ground? Yeah, it's gonna come in a second. Oh, blue key card. Ooh, what? Yes, sir. That's actually disgusting that he's camping the extract. Yeah. Well, like, he's camping beyond it. Like, if he was, like, before, I'd have seen him. But, like, it's, like, beyond the point where you TP, so... While we waited for the airdrop, Chopper was telling us about his earlier experience on the server this morning. He had gone to the safe zone and gotten killed by a camper who took all of his stuff. Now this might not seem very important now, but just keep that in mind because this isn't the first we're gonna see safe zone campers in this video. But we'll get more into that later on. Alright, airdrop's coming in. Chopper's gonna help me secure it. He's over there 100 meters, so I'm gonna get down and help him out. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some good stuff out of this. Oh, that's in the wide open. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It's a guy on me. What? Ah, uh, it's just between these two trucks. He's ratting. Ah, oh, he's fresh though. All right, here we go. Ooh. 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 Is that good? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. You want to take that? Do I take the sniper? Oh uh, yeah, I'll take the sniper. Take the vest. I have a press vest. I think maybe we set up between airfield and uh troitz can maybe like sabagino or on the hills uh, man somewhere for this wipe we wanted to live and operate in this area here this spot was located between the northeast airfield troitzko military base and there was a few other bases nearby which meant we would be able to get a lot of gear it was also far enough east where we weren't going to be running into the massive zergs that controlled this server. And most importantly, there was a safe zone extraction nearby which would allow us to buy and sell quite easily. So with our starter location decided on, Chopper and I made our way towards the safe zone to sell the stuff we got and get some starter cash, while Baba was coming up north from the southern coast.
He's there, he's there, he's there. Run up on the right side. But he's on the right side, like far, far corner on right side. I can I can nail him if you uh Do you want me to bait him? Like push in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just go keep to the right. I'll hug right side, yeah. But I gotta I gotta head down here. Just walk up like you loon the body just keeps the right. I think you dropped them. Some I heard I dropped. No, I didn't. He's dead. He's dead. Yes. He's a P90. It's hustle, man. Of course it oh, is. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> we'll find oh, out where he lives now. Don't worry. All right, let's get to trader. Meets Mr. Hustle Man. This was the guy that just killed Chopper and took all of his valuable stuff. Word had spread about this guy throughout the community and he was known to be a notorious safe zone camper. As most of you probably know, safe zone camping is looked down upon in the community on just about any server. It's an easy way to get loot, but it's a little bit corny to do and some people make a lot of money doing it, which is probably what Hustle Man has been up to. Anyways, Hustleman killed Chopper, taking a lot of stuff that was worth a lot of money. But when we killed him, we didn't find any of Chopper's stuff, including the key card he had. This meant that Hustleman must have had a base nearby where he was stashing his stuff, and then he would run back and continue camping. So next, we had to find it. How this market works is basically other people can list stuff. You can see these people are selling keys uh, and different things. Now, I was lucky with finding that key because you can see these guys are selling it for like 250k. So I reckon if I undercut this guy a little bit, maybe put it up for like 230 or so, um, we can make some make some good money off that. You know, 230k is a lot. After putting the keycard up for sale, we went to grab some base building supplies because it was time to set up a starter base. Early on in Wipe, this was the most important step that we could do because we were going to die a lot and without a place to respawn at and save some gear, we weren't going to be progressing. So we had to get this done right now. Epic damn base. I mean, the dam base isn't a bad idea, actually. Whoa, that's a compound up there. Goodness. I think that actually might be Hustleman's base. If he got a base that big, why, the, why is he camping safe zone? Well, like, you can yeah. build a base. You don't need nails or anything to build a base. Like, it's just upkeep. We came to the agreement to build our starter base inside of this dam. This base location was ideal for preventing an early raid because a lot of groups fly around in helicopters looking for easy targets, but our base wasn't too noticeable from the sky. In fact, even if you were on land, you probably weren't going to see this base. There were a lot of other benefits to living in this location, such as having our own private water source and living right along the main road. So we got busy cutting wood and securing the spot. I nailed that. Wow. But here's where you messed up. What's up, buddy? The window should have been a little bit lower, so we have kind of like an infinity pool past the window. Yeah, to be honest, man. I've it's, been uh, I can't. I can't. Like, it's impossible. <laughs> oh, what the f***? You good, oh. bro? Oh, broke my leg, man. Goodness gracious, man. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? There we go. Against a wall. Not too bad. Oh, that view is nice, man. Yeah. With our starter base finally secured, we could rest easy knowing that we had a safe place to call home. With this important step finally completed, we shifted our attention towards farming the airfield. Chopper had found a keycard that unlocked a rare room in the airport, so we were going to head over and see what we could find. Yeah, so this is garage. This is garage. Over here, we do some type of farming, maybe, yeah. Well, Can one of them that? we could use a, as a heli bay, honestly. It's big enough. Yeah, put the gyro in there. Put, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I ain't gonna touch anything. I'll just open them. Yeah, I won't touch anything either. It's not bad. Ooh, the fuck? Oh, yeah. That's looking real nice. Oh, oh that military query was pretty doo doo, man. <laughs> I say it was worth with just a Kavari. Yeah, probably the gun's the only good thing, really. 
That airfield run was all right. The Kavari we got would sell for a good amount of money and we had a few other sellables. So we went back to base, grabbed everything else we had and then made our way towards the trader to do our first big sell run. But on the way we ran into what we believed was Mr. Hustleman's base located just a few hundred meters from the trader. Why has he got so much space here, man? Yeah. <laughs> they spent so much time on the compound. Probably have like one door. <laughs> yeah, there's, I think it's literally two doors, by the way. Yeah. Because he hasn't even built on the ice head. I love us catch him building now. That dude got some acres in his backyard. Yeah, he is building up but quite a bit. Yeah, I don't know if he's actually like active though. I'm pretty sure this is Hustleman's base. It has to be. It could be because he was camping Trader. This is the only other base we've even seen near the Trader. So it would make sense for sure. Oh, he's in there. He's in there. He just no went in. Way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back for a. He's standing in the wide open. We could drop him. No, no, no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. We go deep on him. He's gonna respawn. He's gonna be panicking, man. He's gonna open the door. He's <laughs> door open. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. His gate's on our side, dude. Yeah, he there's probably multiple, multiple gates. Oh, he's coming out. He just lifts his base. He's gonna leave the front gate. That's not good. He's going towards Trader. Okay, let's get them. Up the hill. Okay, are we gonna hunt him down? Do we drop uh, him or not? Honestly, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe kill him. Maybe kill him, actually. Yeah. All right, we gotta catch him. Where is he? Is he on a nine? He just went in. He went in, yeah. No, I didn't even see him. No, he's up top, stop. He's up, he's up top. He's up top? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking down, I think. One's dropped. He did? You dropped somebody. I'm on con. I think that's him, man. Ah, uh, yeah. What's his name? Is uh, it let him? me tell you. Slush. Uh, he was doing a cell run. He's like 20k, pox grenade. Yeah, good kill, man. Wait, there's another guy right here. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Good shit, good shit. Well, oh, this is the guy we were chasing. He didn't go in, dude. Mr. Hustleman, this is him. This is him. Yeah, nice. That is his base. Nice. Bro, he came with nothing. He was literally going to camp it. Oh, no, wait, no, no. He has 90k cash. Oh. Yeah. He was hiding down here. So I think he killed his friend or something. I don't even know, bro. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. This was important because Baba and I were able to confirm that that was indeed Hustleman's compound on the hill. And now we knew more information. He had a teammate called Slush. While we were doing all of this, Chopper went back to base to get some planks so that he could make some step ladders and then we could get inside the compound and see if we could make a play. Get a, get a shot on the front door, Nissa. I'm gonna like, take footsteps out back and like run away. He might think I'm leaving. Once we took a closer look, we noticed that he had spent most of his time working on the compound and he kind of neglected his actual base. There was a good chance he only had a few doors inside, so we had Baba pretend to walk away to bait him outside, and then we could hopefully kill him and go deep. Dead? Fucking knew it. Yep. Okay, they got Mel next. What'd you get out of him? Just his gun? Yeah, just a AK-74. You no, know, I will take his tools though, for if one of us are gonna build after you. Yeah. Let's take our new winnings home, man. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. See you guys, come close me. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Is Don't tell me man? that's hustle, man. Nah, it can't nah, be. Can't be. be. Exist us. Oh, I thought it was a red key for a second, man. I yeah, I, I, saw this I guy. did it all. Bro, that base is. Like, you can't see it. Yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> I think I got the title for the video, man. I built an invisible water base. I don't even know. I'm just... OP. <laughs> I guess when you work hard, your money starts expanding. That's what I'm seeing happen right now. It is. Don't let Hustle Mom find out where we live, though. I don't think he'll be able to find us anytime soon. You think he's built for that? Uh, nah, he, he ain't built like that, but he'll he'll try and be a belt like that. Be sitting outside that base yeah. for three days straight. For now, we were gonna leave Hustle Man's base alone because we already got a lot of stuff off of him and there wasn't really much more we could do at this given time. As we passed by his base, Baba noticed that Hustle Man was in chat recruiting new members for his compound. 
it was starting to look like he sectioned off this massive area of land to start some type of village or community here. And this was something that could be taken advantage of because anybody could just change their name and go join him and get their codes and then do some serious damage from inside. But this wasn't something that we were interested in doing, so for now we were just gonna leave Hustle Man alone. Now our next step for the day was to head towards the black market to sell some stuff and buy some better ammo, but this area was known for being very dangerous, so we moved in cautiously. Uh oh. First shot? Where is it? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Let me. Two. I'm dead. What the fuck? One bullet. Well, I just got fried, man. I didn't even get a chance. One bullet. Literally, first bullet. Killed one. <sighs> That's so unlucky, bro. How did I get one shot? Okay, it's a Zerg. It's a Zerg. I killed one south. I'm dead. He's tagged, but. Killed that guy? The boys put up a good fight, but one by one, they got taken out. They could only do so much because they were already manned down since I caught a straight 308 to the head just as the fight was getting started. So overall, it was an incredibly unlucky situation for us. After going back to base, I grabbed the new gun and armor and went back towards where I died to see if I could get some payback or at the very least to grab a kit off of one of these guys. It's a damn war zone over there. There's a lot, dude. There's a fucking lot of people. It's a big Zerg on Zerg fight. Like, we can really... Like, we could profit huge off this. Just killed one. After a second unsuccessful attempt, we cut our losses there and didn't go back. The black market was just far too hot right now and it looked like two different clans were battling so there was no room for us to really sneak in and do anything. I wanted to find out the name of the clan that killed us, but unfortunately we weren't able to get any name tags so for now we didn't know where they lived or anything else about them, but that would soon change. Oh, someone just ran key card. No way. Fuck, I got a Tundra with one bullet, bro. Somebody's on me, I think. Maybe it's a solo. Could actually be a solo coming to do the stashes. Cause server just restarted. His name is Everybody K. He really didn't have much though. For uh, us. What? Wow. Military crate, yellow key card, two suppressors. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is that you? Oh, I see him. He's fucking geared, bro. Is he? He's on you. He's on you, pretty much. He ran into the same room as On my floor? Actually, no, no. He's one under you. One under you. I killed one. For the next hour or so, we spent our time searching military bases for buried stashes, because as you can probably tell by now, they have some pretty good stuff. We had a few individual encounters here and there, but nothing notable happened for these few hours, but that was all gonna change very soon. There's a guy to the right, hold up. Uh, at those garages, you see the six garages? Yeah. There's, I, I believe there's two. Yep, you see him running? Back, yeah. You wanna go for this, or? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. So. They're running into town, they're right about the grocery store. I think there's four, by the way. Run in there. He's the. Good one. One pulled his gun out. I'm coming by. He hit twice. I think I hit one. Should I hit him? Knocked one on car. Nice. One's in back of grocery. Yeah. Okay. Good one. He's dead. Nice. Wait, how many down is that? Three? Yeah, I think there was four though. There was one was like up th near double red and he was shooting at you. I don't know if he ran off though. Or like what happened? 
Oh, I see him. I see him. He's, uh, he's, he's at Red Stilted. He's dead. He's on con, on con. No, he's, he's dead. That, that's not him, though. That's a different guy. That's a more, way more geared guy. I could have been a uh, hustle man coming out. I don't know. He was a round rod double, like between me and you now. Pushing up. Yeah, he's at the door. He's at the door. He went inside. Oh, okay. Shoot me stuff. Yeah, I'm pushing that guy. Hold up. I, I can kill him. Okay. He's in the front, shed. Right? He's in the shed. Yeah, he's in the shed. Behind. I don't know where he is now. I'm dead. Nice. This guy's in double red. Yeah, these dudes are kind of geared, man. He's probably looking at you, by the way, okay? Yeah, I'm in the. I'm on, I'm on this guy. Yeah, P90, SV98, full bag of clothing. Oh, he's shooting at me, I think. In game, I can kill him. I'm baiting, yeah. <laughs> he's down or something. Oh my god, dude. Wait, look at his bag. Ooh, oh yeah, that's good. That's key, good. yellow key? Yeah, the key's nice. Is it, wait, is this a uh, hacker or hacker man, whatever the fuck his name is? No, this guy's name's Yiz. Oh. Oh? What the hell? Watch out, watch out. I see him. His hit once. Oh, you, you dropped him, bro. You dropped him so fast. He's dead. We were convinced that some of the guys we killed were part of Hustle Man's team because this fight happened right outside of his base. So we jumped back in his compound to see what was going on. Hey, everyone. No, thank you for the follow, buddy. What the fuck? Is he watching a stream? No, he's streaming. He's just a hustle, man. Right now, I'm streaming on Twitch and you. He's gonna hear my tummy if I get too close. Mr. Hustleman was hot miking in game, and while he was talking to stream, we could hear every word. But this gave us a chance to sneak around to the front of his base and set up an ambush. Since he was live streaming, maybe he wasn't too focused on the game, and this was as good of a chance as any to go deep into his base. I got a grenade, bro. Wait, you're slapping his keyboard? <laughs> yeah, he's just typing up a storm. Call hey guys, movie friends. Yo, guys. Yo, homies. Yes. Yeah, down to be friends? Um. But. Why were you camping safe zone if you want to be friends? I kill everybody that comes to that safe zone. If y'all are my friends, I'll let you through. But. Why were you camping it for 40 minutes straight? I camp it all day. That's my home. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna camp you for 40 minutes straight. Okay, well, I got people on the way, so you might want to leave before you lose your gear. Nah, don't think I will. Alright, well, that's fine. I'll be back. I'm a log. And I'm actually just combat logging. That. Hey, how far away you think y'all are? Okay, y'all are close. Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's, there's a clown, bro. I think there's three of them outside, bro. I think there's three, man. At this point, a bit of a standoff was taking place. Him and his teammates were not willing to leave their base, and we weren't going to leave until he opened at least one of his doors so we could see if we could go deep. So we just sat around. We did send Baba back to base to grab a pox grenade, which we hoped would flush him out of his hole. So while we waited, we just camped his door. You need help? Oh, you're sealed in. Fuck. No, I'm not. I'm not. I can get out. I bypassed the metal on the front door. I'm like two doors away from loot. There's only two away, yeah. Because it's going to be that one and it's going to be the bedroom. What? Man, if we had boom right now, this is free. For some strange reason, Hustle Man tried to run outside and fight Chopper and he lost. And now we were two doors deeper and we had access to their drop box on the first floor, which was loaded. All we could do now is wait and pray that the rest of his teammates made the same stupid mistake that he did. I mean, this could be... No, there's no way. There's gonna be another door. There's no way he would just have this. 
Oh, you good? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Baba. Let's take a left, I think. Yeah, he's left side. Give me a sec, I can... Oh, oh he, he just opened the door. He's downstairs. Is he? I don't know. I hear beeping. He's upstairs. Oh, is he upstairs? Well, he has a lot of doors then, because he just clicked four times. Oh, he's got the Timby out this time. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. Oh. He's gonna, uh, he might open. Yeah, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, hold it. That's it. Oh, God. You, you might be dead here, pal. Yeah, if he hits you, you're fucked. Okay. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's fine. Just hold it. I'll just run back. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. What's up? He almost got me, bro. He almost got me. He almost got cut. He almost got cut in half. It was nearly impossible to hold this staircase with them shooting through the doors, but I had to sit here until Chopper came back and got his body. If I got caught by one stray bullet here, there is a high chance that we would lose it all. Dad, dad, dad. We're in one more. Nice. HK, DDL. <laughs> This is Riven, chill. Let him keep coming back. I swear. This could be one of the last doors, I think. Uh, I second think it is. Door. You open front gate. Make it freshy. He's, he's running in. Dead. Nice. You good? Yeah. Well. But what is this gate stack? Oh, there's a crate here, though. Hang on. One dead outside. Front front gate's wide open. They opened. This was Exodus. He came from Trader with grenades. What the fuck is this, bro? Yeah, this gate stack is kind of wild. Somehow we got past several doors, and there was only one remaining between us and the loot room, so now we deployed our toxic grenade to see if he would run outside. Oh, see a guy in the hill sniping? He's looping like northeast. He has a six B. I see him. He did. He did wide flank. Okay. Hit him once. Don't think he's dead. Nice. Wait, I think I knocked him. Hold up, hold up. I can't tell. Yo, obey. I'll pay 250k to get these fools out of my compound. It reached a point where Hustleman was offering money to the bigger Zergs to come clear us out of his base, but nobody came to his rescue. One of his teammates tried to flank us from the downstairs room and he left the door open, but there wasn't really much in here other than a water barrel and another crate. It was clear that these guys learned their lesson about opening doors and they weren't going to be doing it anymore, so we just got out of there with what we had. On the way home, we discovered another base right across the street from us, and after waiting around for a while, we were able to kill one of Hustleman's members at the door and then we killed another one on the hill, confirming that this also belonged to the same group. Slush, this was... What's up? What's up? That's the group, right? That we're camping? Yeah. Yeah, because I've seen him before. Ooh. Oh, I'm not. Help. Ah. I don't know where from, bro. He's full surprised, man. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm in a building. Let's watch my building. He's going to rush me. I'm dead, bro. Were you on the right or left? Yeah, uh, I was just in that corridor up the stairs. Dad. Good job. Good job. Kermit. I've seen this guy before. It was a long day of fighting, but it was a very productive day. We came out with a bunch of cash sellables, we had a bunch of kits, and there really wasn't much more that we needed for the first day. Over the next coming days, the fights were gonna get much harder and the groups were gonna get bigger, so all of this stuff was gonna come in handy. But for now, we just admired our view and then logged out. All right, day two. Now we're not rated yet. It's a little bit dark though. Uh, I gotta put everything up. I logged with all my stuff. All right, maybe we uh, maybe we go get some logs, man. Time to get building. Let me get a let me get an axe. Yeah. Nah. 
Or we've upgraded, bro. We've upgraded. Oh, yeah. I forgot, bro. I've never used those. Do they need fuel? For the first few hours of day two, we were going to focus on building the base up because right now we had far too much stuff and far too few doors. We needed to turn this dam into a much bigger base. Yeah, so you're gonna basically wall from here, like while we're here. Yeah, and then go all, the way, all the way across, so we just have another yeah. layer. Yeah. These are double doors or garage doors? Double doors. Look at that. Yeah, she's looking good. She's looking real good. Oh yeah, base is looking nice. It's not so hidden anymore, but if you think about it, it is kind of hidden still because it's like at a lower level. And if somebody is just walking from this side, obviously they'll see it, but anyone from the western part of the map is not really going to see that as easily. Wait a minute now. Hey, buddy. Go ahead and we land. Hey, I dare you to land. I dare you. He's circling it. He's be we've been spotted. It says he found us. Oh, he yeah. sees us. Should I shoot at him? Nah. Nah, he's gone. Okay. Um, you come up here. Like, have you got planks on you? Yeah. Okay. We need to. We need to build. Yeah. We need to build this up now because they'll find a way of dismantling yeah. it if they come over. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get the logs. We're on a time frame now. With a heli scouting our position, we had to rush to finish the base, and this is what the final product looked like. But let me give you a little tour of the inside so far. Now, it's not fully furnished yet. We got to put a bunch of stuff inside, but I just want to show you how it's built. So those sections up top, those are just like honeycomb, I guess you could call it. There's nothing really up there. You come on in here and we got this first level. This is really just for like defense. So if we're getting raided, we could shoot from here. Um, I don't think we're going to put much there, but you come on in here and it's going to take you to like an inner compartment. So you can see we have three individual rooms and each have their own purpose. So this one over here is going to be my little room where I fish and stuff just to get food. So the idea is I'm going to fish from here, fish out of the dam from the safety of the base. So basically this was our main loot room, but we moved all of our best stuff into the upper compartment, which I'm going to show you. So if you go into this middle room, there's going to be an access point for like the attic, I guess you could call this. So there's another door here. And we built these windows to be able to defend if we're getting online. So we're really hoping we do get online at some point. Um, and that way we can try our best at a base defense. So this is a pretty nice hold. And you come on in here and this is like our little secret compartment. You know, we get the best stuff here. <laughs> Chopper's taking a little nap. And uh, yeah, we have like, what, five, 600K. So we're about to buy a helicopter if we get a little bit more cash. And uh, we have some grenades and stuff for raiding. So yeah, that's where we are so far. Like I said, we need to just customize a bit more, add some storages. I wish the server had more like RP items. I used, I usually like to put tables up, plants, like rugs, that type of stuff. But Rearm doesn't really have any of that right now. After completing the building, Chopper and I went to the airfield to look for some hidden stashes and hopefully find some key cards. I see you guy. What? I just lasered him. I don't know how he's not dead. He's in the big hangar. I'm pushing him. I'm coming. Hit him, hit him once. He's not dead. Yes. He's left side, hard left. That's not that's not the same guy then. He's wearing full black. Yeah, there's two guys. Oh, this guy? There's only the guy that you hit now. I'm watching the cross. Yeah, yeah. He's dead, kill him. Ah, uh, feral. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you come check this guy out, bro. Ooh! Oh my god! Did they just open green key? Yeah, they just did a key. Yeah, uh, hey, hey, maybe you check the map, buddy. What, oh, is there an airdrop here? Uh, yeah, there is an airdrop here. Oh my god, bro, but we have so much. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. Someone's in here, in construction. Okay. Dad, dad. Oh, the geared guy. Jesus, bro. I didn't even get to call out, bro. I just had to shoot. <laughs> no, I know. Hey, yo. What does he have? He has two boxes of nails. Two nails. 
Ooh, somebody shot at me, I think. Yeah, has to. Don't know where he is though. Oh, I see him. He's red shorts. Red shorts. He's he's not in construction. He's going to fire station, I believe. Oh yeah, I see him. Yeah, hey, he's upstairs. Just grenade him. Yeah. I could just go in here. Let's see what this one got. Oh! oh, oh. Where does that go, bro? Where oh. does that go? That's Tissy, bro. That's like that's 400 bands, man. That's 400 bands right there. And an Alton? After getting an extremely lucky red key card, we had to go unlock the room at Tizzy and see if we could get any explosives out of it. This was an extremely dangerous area where all the big clans operated, but if we could sneak through the woods, there was a solid chance that we would be able to get in and out without getting spotted. Uh, so Sorry, rushing this. Yeah, rush here. Mm -hmm. I'll go in first. I'll open it, and you guys can check behind me. Okay, here we go. Go, go, go. Ooh, MVG mine. Uh, okay. Right. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Little Timberwolf. We take that. Suppressor. Okay, okay. Ah, this is it, bro. Uh. Uh, what'd you got? <laughs> what'd you got, buddy? I'll see you back on the coast, pal. What the fuck is that, bro? As badly as I wanted to get a C4 out of the red room, the gear we got wasn't too bad. The armor would go a long way, and the guns we got would be able to sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. All we had to do now was get back across the map towards our base. Yeah, watch, watch give more, give more, give more. Loot and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. It's just the one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching the K behind you as well, K from base. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna come from the base, 100%. It's gruntled. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, behind. Behind, behind, behind. Oh, fuck. No, oh, no, that's right. That's yeah. fine, that's fine. Though, right? Is that at us? Oh, two guys. Oh, yeah, there's two guys, two guys. We have to fight this. I'm hit, I'm okay. hit. I'm on con. One's left. There's a girlie on the right. What? I'm dead, I'm dead. What the fuck is that, I'm bro? Dead. I'm on con. Fuck, what is that? My gun stopped shooting. I killed one. My fucking AK stopped shooting. I was about to spray one. I just got unconned in one shot. I guess it is Zerg territory, though. I don't know what it else we could really old. do. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But it happens. We were fairly certain that the group we fought lived in this compound here, and these were most likely the same guys that we had died to twice at the black market earlier on. We didn't know the group's name or how many members they had, but we could guess that there were at least five or six based on our previous interactions with them and this fight that just happened. This was quite the tough loss to take. We must have had a million worth of gear that we got out of Tizzy and it was all gone just like that. As you guys know, gear comes and goes in DayZ, but the one thing we had going for us was that we knew where they lived and we knew how they operated. They would go to bandit camp and back and it was easy to ambush them. So we went to the trader to buy some cheap guns, and then we made our way back towards their base to try and grab them. Careful, there's a bad trap. Oh my god. Oh god, he's probably in there. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I think I see him. That's the crazy part, bro. Hold on. He's dead. If that's hustle, man, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna be say some words. It will be. It will be. I'm gonna run through. Oh, I TP'd. Fuck. Oh, I fucking TP'd. I got it. Oh my god, it's Mr. Hustle Man TV. Bro. Grab his kit, man. That's a free kit. Don't even need to buy it. What is this fucking guy doing? Just grab it all and go save some, bro. This can't be a real person. It is. Oh, yeah, I guess I got a kit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Hustle Man. He's in the fucking trailer. <laughs> he stepped on this bear trap, bro. 
<laughs> no way you stepped on your own beer trap, hustle man. You guys have a pega. Real good for that, yeah. This can't be a real human. The guy in front of me. Did it hit me? Like five meters. He's prone. His hat. Are you dead? I'm dead. You get him? He should be dead. I saw him a little bit late. He's full dead now. Wait, you see a gate over there? Uh huh. There's one in this oh, yeah. corner. There's one like north. Two northern gates. He's on the roof. Probably, yeah. Yeah, he is. He is. There's one door open. open. Yeah, yeah, go, go. I can ladder there. Locker I'm gone. Right I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. What? I'm what'd gone. you get? AX. AX 50. No shot, bro. Yeah, way. I need another sap ladder. Oh, hi. Hey, that's fine. That's fine. They're loaded. Wait, what? There's so, there's so much fucking gear here, bro. Pick up what you can. Oh my god. Oh. They're gonna be coming from bandits, so be careful, boys. You Holy f they're loaded, dude. I see one behind me. What? You dead? You should not be in it. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I see him. I see him. Hold up. He's dead. Nice. Nice. Oh my god. I'm like, I think I might be full deep, bro. No way. Like genuinely, I might be full deep. If you got TC, then yeah. Let me are. see, let me see, let me see. Dude, every gate's open, every gate. All the way to TC? No way. Yeah, I'm at TC, I'm at TC, I'm at TC. Okay, 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 okay. okay. What well, you need to do, uh, you need to dismantle. Yeah, you need to deauthorize, clear off, right? Uh, and then you need to dismantle their front door, like their main door to Lou. And then you need to look for logs and planks, bro. You need logs I'm, and planks. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. We might just have to hold inside until we get the. Someone's shooting outside. Suppress. Yeah. I'm just putting mines to try to slow them down around every corner. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Oh my god, they got big guns, dude. Yeah, they had an AX-50 outside, so. Hey, who inside of us? Oh, wait, we know you're in there. We're gonna get them, get in there regardless. Who is it? Yeah, they're they're stacked. Bro. One hit, one hit a landmine. Nice. Right. That's one dead. This guy's full Alton on me. Whoever incited us, you're a little freaking rat. He said, "Whoever incited us, you're a rat." What? <laughs> One's dead. Yes. Good job, bro. <laughs> oh, he pushed me. I kind of fucking fumbled there, bro. That was such a choke. Fun. Nah, nah, man, it was, nah, you did good, He man. killed enough, man. Did they pre-fire? So that's why I don't want to peek back into it. So I thought he was going to sit, but the dude just fucking walked up. I didn't expect that. So as you saw, one of the members of this clan walked out of their base with an AX-50 and a t-shirt, and he left almost every single door behind him open. Now, I'm not sure what that guy was thinking when he ran out like that, but this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I was beating myself up over fumbling it. You know, there were so many small things that could have went better. They could have had wood inside of their loot room, which would have let me basically reseal their base and take it for myself, but obviously that didn't happen. Or Chopper and Baba may have not died earlier, and we would have been able to win that way. Either way, we didn't come out of this empty-handed. We were able to run back and grab the AX-50 from that guy that ran out, and we were also able to get good information about the inside of their base. I could now confirm that they had at least 20 members based on the sleeping bags that I went back and counted in my video. 
and we knew exactly where all their doors were. This base was definitely exploitable if we could just go back and raid it in the future. So we weren't done with these guys, but now we had to turn our attention back to Mr. Hustleman because he was still safe zone camping. But watch out, boys. He has a new defense tower. That's what I mean by my defense tower. He's, he's definitely here. Yeah, he's having a cookout in there. He's peeking. Just hold up. There's two, I think. He's hit. He's hit. He's, he's down. He's down. The guy in condom. One dead. Yeah, one's full dead. Yep. Oh, he got ult in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. What? How the f*** did he kill you? I wasn't even... Why did I die? Where did you get hit from? Oh, he went up. Is he above? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta hold him. Yeah, just hold up. I don't, I don't really know where he is, but... Two, another one, another one! I killed, I killed them all! No shot, okay. I'm coming back. Yeah, you need to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How many came out? Three. Three. No way. Yeah, I saw you in the corner. I was like, pray, I'm praying to God Chopper gets this, man. Holy they shit. All came out. All came Dude, they're stacked. Bro. He's on the roof right now. He's white t-shirt. Hold up. I'm at little pop shots. Hit him. Hit him a little bit. Nice. He's on north, uh, south side of the roof. He dropped. He dropped. He dropped. He's like, he's like in the compound, like on the other side. Hit him, he's dead, he's dead. Nice. Yep, bro. He, oh, purple key, bro? The heli what? key's right Dude. here. Purple key card, oh. heli key. They're going on trader run, dude. Holy Wait, shit. Wait, purple what? key card? Purple key card, right, right here. They were about to do oil rig. <laughs> They're camping outside. Let's run out with our key cards. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the base loot. Let's run out. No way, man. You may be thinking this was a strange situation. How did Hustle Man go from being a safe zone camper to suddenly having an expensive helicopter and all of this good gear? On top of that, the few guys we killed inside of his compound had completely new names. We had never seen them before and we knew something fishy had went down here. And it wasn't long until we found out what happened. GG's on inciting Hustle Man, huh? We incited them. What? Maybe that was not Hustle Man we killed. Yeah, that's true, actually. We didn't even check. Got that name tag. Oh, maze. yeah. Maybe they just had all their loot. We were we wanted to raid this guy this whole time. They incited him, came out with everything of value he had, it seems like. And then we killed them. So in effect, <laughs> we raided heli, him. It wasn't even hustle man's. Yeah, it's not even hustle. Because hustle man, I was about to say, there's no way this dude gets a heli just like that, bro. That dude's broke. He runs like vectors and shit. And he saves on camps. Yeah. If you remember earlier on in the story, we talked about how Hustle Man was recruiting members for his community in the side chat. Well, it looked like we weren't the only group that had a bone to pick with him. Other people tried to infiltrate his group and were successful. They took his passwords, kicked him out of his base, and took everything out. And we caught them as they were getting everything out of there. So it was an extremely lucky situation, and now we had a heli. I guess that's where the story of Mr. Hustle Man ends, but his legend may live on. Perhaps one day you'll be on rearmed US main and you'll walk into the trader and you'll find a guy in there with a vector and a body armor waiting for you. Anyway, now it was time to turn our attention to that big clan. We had to quickly grind and get some boom and try to raid them. Oops, a guy here, hold up. I just ate. The gilly on the, the track. Yeah. I, had, I think I had him. Oh, I got hit. I see him, I see him, I see him. What? 30, 30. Had him again. Yes. Oh, I see him, he's, he's, right, he's right under us. He's hit him again. He, he's running around this corner, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going right on him. He's dead, he's not knocked, knocked, dead. Nice. In front of us, guy. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's in. It's at the end. Hit him. I think he's. I'm knocked. I think I knocked him, maybe. 
Hey, you killed him. Shut up. Nice. Yeah, I see a guy, uh, 30. He's in the field. He's come towards us. Hold up. 30 oh. on the train track at that little shed. Yeah. He's hit once. He hit him, yeah. Oh, yeah. He should be down with that now. Uh, he's low. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> What's he shooting at? The alley just flew right past us. Wait, where? They're going oh. east. Over there. That way. I'm facing. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. yeah. He doesn't want this, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Ah. Here's a wrench. I'm dropping it on the ground here. I just got hit. Thank you. See a guy in the trees? 15? Yeah, I killed him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another oh, one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. see him. I see him. I see him. He's, He's dead. dead. <laughs> Good shot, bro. Good shot. For the next few hours, we made a lot of money from PvP and looting around. And we were even able to jump into a compound on the edge of the map and take their two helicopters, selling them for a million dollars. When all was said and done, we had a good amount of money, some gunpowder, and pretty much everything we would need to do a small raid. It was going to be impossible for us to get enough explosives to raid that big clan completely, but we felt that we could at least raid their first few doors and see if we could somehow dismantle our way into their loot room. So we went back over there to see if we could catch them off guard again. Where's the roof entrance? Oh, someone's outside! Someone's outside! G good guy, good guy! Uh, uh, west, west, west! He just ran by! West! 255. Where you died with that AX50, remember? Yeah, I see him in the woods. He's running left. Oh, got on the ladder. Where is he? Can you kill him? He went up that ladder. He's on con, I think. Oh, That's I didn't right. see that dude. Shit. His dad, ladder is dead, I think. Yes. Was he pink shorts? Pink shorts, pink shorts. Okay, there might be one more then. AKM on him. Got a gun in hand. Have a watch the ladder. Mm -hmm. He's coming up ladder. Dead. He's dead. Nice. Good call, good call. Ah, uh, I'm on con. Oh shit, I'm I coming. think he's dead, I don't know. Like, watch the step ladder, watch the step ladder. I think someone was on the step ladder, man. Yeah. He's on Connor dead, bro. Uh he's uh he's dead. You got him, bro. We had killed these guys a few times and they were gonna be on bag timers, but the problem was the rest of their clan was gonna log on and help repel the attack. So although we had a lot of money back at base to buy C4, if we actually left this compound, we were gonna lose the strong position we were in and we would probably not be able to get back in here. So Chopper called on his friends from the SC clan to help us out. They were able to bring a few of their explosives and lend them to us and then after the raid, we would give them the money that they spent back. So with this, the final raid commenced. Am I good to rocket, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh shit. I deal. Yep, it's backwards. Yeah, like I thought. What's it looking like? Okay, so that goes, that goes to the roof. Yes, yeah, so we have to boom this. Yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, there's gear. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Too bad. Oh. Get them bags. Grenade launcher. Oh, that's hollow, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I wanted. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's that? Watch out. Loot, loot, loot. Uh, ah, Nate. Are you guys good still? Uh, I think we're okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. It's just another sleeping bag. We're good, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's good, it's good, dude. One's dead. Nice, yes. good job, Nazar. Oh, there's a guy on me! What the fuck? Dad, dad, dad. <laughs> what was he doing? Another one dead? 
Nice, that's Pyro Kid, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, unlike the boys. Oh, oh bad. Mm, bad. Although we weren't able to get into their loot room, all of the gear we got from their side rooms and from all the people that we killed was worth a ton of money. But the battle wasn't over yet. Now we had to get out of here alive. Oh, there's the guy out here. Guy on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah the guy on the outside. We're out, we're out. I'm good. Compound, one side of compound. Where is he? Right behind that tree, right behind that tree. Dead, 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 dead. Good call. We filled up our bags and helis with gear until we could hold no more, and then we got out of there. Most of the upper part of the base was dismantled because we tried to find a way to go lower, but unfortunately we couldn't find any other weak spots. Overall, this was a pretty fun fight, and although we didn't really get to their loot room or take as much as I would have liked from them, we were able to strike a small blow and put all of the money we had grinded for to good use. Yo, 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 there's a guy outside. There's a guy outside lurking. Someone kill him. I don't have a gun. Uh, 75, crouching. He's behind a tree, crouching. Directly 75. You see him crouching? He's aiming right now. Hey, watch us, watch us. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, we far like we camped this guy named Hustle Man TV, and he like. Oh, oh my God! God. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's off the <laughs> server, bro. We trolled him so hard, and then he got incited after. And, yeah. No shot. Oh, he got incited. I thought yeah. he got raided. Nah, I mean he, he got incited, and then the guys who incited him, we pulled up because there was a heli in that combo. We're like, oh, okay, we're gonna yonk that heli. And then it turns out it was those guys who incited him, and they came out with everything, and we just fucking took it all. And with that, our adventure came to an end. You're probably wondering what happened to our little damn base. Well, we gave it to the SZ clan for helping us out, and they took everything inside back to their main base. I don't know if it's still standing, but there's a good chance that it is. So if you ever see it, now you know the story about what went down here. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next adventure.